Yo, we are live and in effect. Yo, Key, I should grab my stool. Unbreakable Army was good. Y'all already know what to do, man. As soon as you get in a vault, you smash that like button. Smash that like button for your boy as soon as you enter into the vault. Hit that like button, y'all. Not sure how long we're going to be live for today, but we're going to be here to rap for a little bit, chit-chat, talk, all that good stuff. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, bro, as soon as y'all enter. As soon as y'all enter, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up for your boy. All right, y'all. What y'all think about episode three? In episode four, it was decent to me, man. It was decent. It was good to see, like, um, you know, Phil Jackson's his little bit of his history, a little bit of Dennis Rodman stuff, man. So it was pretty good, man. I know a lot of people. First and foremost, man, um, bro, since like <laughs> I want to say maybe like four o'clock, man. I want to say like four o'clock, bro. People was just. No, before the end, maybe like 2 o'clock, my phone been going, break, is it going to be a shock drop? We getting a shock drop, shock drop, shock drop. And I'm not even going to lie, y'all. Like, I took a break from uploading. Make sure y'all hit the like button as soon as y'all enter. We got almost 600 people in here. Smash that like button, man. Smash that like button. Um, Bro, like, my phone been blowing up all day about people just asking me about shock drop, shock drop, shock drop. Like, I ain't even going to stop. Like, I couldn't even... You know, like, I took my wife and my daughter out just for a little rap, man. Uh, you know, go look at some houses, bro. My phone was just going crazy. So, I, I knew that we wasn't going to get a shock drop today. But I just kept hearing it, man. Kept hearing it. I hit up my main guy who I always hit up. Like, bro, we getting a shock drop. I ain't heard nothing. Then I hit up another guy that his information, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's hit or miss. And he hit me up was like, um... I'm hearing it, but he wasn't 100%. Shout out to my boy, Lucky Fred. Starting it in for the yellow team, man. What's good, Bray? Scotty turned to first championship series. Yes, he did. Yes, he did, man. Without that, well, I, honestly, without the help of Scotty, they, you know, it, we wouldn't have no ring in 91. And I was born in 91, so that's just a blessing to have that. Look, we got almost 800 people in here. We only got 200 thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up button for your boy. Smash it, smash it, smash it. Um, I know everybody is upset, okay? Everybody's upset we didn't get these today. All right. Shout out to my boy Frank Ballard for the $2 donation. Uh, where are the 270 Nike React Travis Scott's? Not 100% sure exactly what them joints at, bro. Um, yeah, man. Everybody wanted these joints today, bro. Um, I still personally feel like we may get them on the last episode. That's what I've been throwing out. But honestly, ever since, look, man, I, I honestly, I, I kind of been holding on to some stuff. I just want to go ahead and get a little video with the flash so y'all can see. Um, there y'all see right there with the flash on. Joints is dope, bro. We still going to have them at the end of the month. May, well, May 30th. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit that like button. I can't express it enough how important it is to smash that like button smash the like button for your boy please we almost got a thousand people in here smash the like button um i think that shout out to my boy marky mark 408 for the ten dollar donation i think we will be getting these joints at the end of the finale i just couldn't see nike just dropping back back to back heat shock drops i just couldn't see it i couldn't i just could not see them doing it man i couldn't see it at all um but yes we will be getting these man and the last the the finale episode is i want to say like may 14th which is two weeks away from the actual release most time they do shock drops is always like two weeks before the actual drop so if my numbers is correct if my math is correct we may we may i'm not saying that's 100 percent I knew we was going to get the um knew we was going to get the fire red. That's why I let y'all guys know hours ahead. Like I said, I didn't get any information regarding shot drop on these, so I didn't want to say that we wasn't, 
But things can change, and Nike could have been last minute. We gonna shock drop it. So I was like, people, y'all still should stay by your phone. But yes, hot commodity. I do have pre-orders open for these on my channel right now. Excuse me, on my IG, along with the hair sixes and the fire red fives. So um, there we go, bro. There we go. Again, my predictions. My predictions. Shock drop at the at the finale. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, I did hear that finish line did um restock on the DMPs. So maybe sporadically throughout the series, other spots will be doing shock drops and things of that nature. Smash that like button. We got almost 900 people in here. We don't even have 400 thumbs up. So if you're watching, it takes five seconds to just hit that thumbs up, bro. Take five seconds. Um uh yeah, so. Any anything before anything before we get to the uh anything before we actually get to the collection? Do y'all got any questions? Um, yeah, they flooding us with DMPs, man. That's why, like, if you are a reseller, if you're trying to open up a shop or anything like that, I would say stack up on them for retail and then you know have them in your shop. But if you if you ain't got a pair right now, bro, I, I don't know what's going on. Shout out to my boy Mike D's life for the five dollar don excuse me ten dollar donation. Let me put some respect on his name. And shout out to my boy E Sneaker Deep for the five dollar donation. Shout out to my boy T Mac Gaines for the two dollar donation. How long should I hold on to my size nine? Fear of God triple black. If you plan on rocking it, rocky. If you plan on selling it, fear of gods don't just come out busting like that unless it's like stupid uh limited. So Ben is already a high retail shoe. I can't see that shoe just smacking up and retail, excuse me, resale that quick. Okay. I can't see it, but it is possible. It is possible. We got a thousand people in here, y'all. Smash that like button, bro. Smash that like button. We got over a thousand people up in here. Um, when is round four? Actually, we're gonna be on round five for knockout. I'm either gonna do that tomorrow or Tuesday. Tomorrow or Tuesday. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Go mob to all my mob members in here. Shock drop today. We did not get a shock drop. Now, I felt we weren't going to get one, but people was blown. Bro, when I say, I probably got more. I probably got more. Is it going to be a shock drop message than I did happy birthday messages? You know what I'm saying? But it is. Okay. Now, I just seen somebody say OG colorways are skyrocketing. I've been said that. I've been said that the last dance is going to make people get that nostalgia. And it's going to make people actually want to go out and buy these shoes. You know what I'm saying? OG shoes, man. Any shoe that Mike actually wore, I have to have in the vault. Now, um, only ones, I'm missing a couple of them. I'm missing one OG colorway that I'm missing in the vault. And it's a pair of Air Jordan eyes. And I've never really was big, a big fan of these, but I have to get them in a the vault, okay? I have to get them in a the vault. Um, my, bo uh, my boy, Mr. Today, not my birthday. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, everybody say happy birthday. Today, not my birthday. I'm just saying, on my actual birthday, I didn't get as many messages as I did. Hey, break, is it going to be a shot drop? So, today not my birthday. Y'all would have known if it was your boy's birthday. But, again, smash that like button. We got over 1,000 people up in here. We got 555 thumbs up. Let's get the But I'm not getting off of this live until we get 1,000 thumbs up. That's real. So, shout. Okay, we got donations rolling in. Shout out to my boy, Ricky Brown. I need them core purples in a size 12. I did hit up my peoples because supposedly... In Chicago, they're not opening up stores for like full-blown 100 people in the store at one time, but stores will be doing like curbside stuff. I'm not sure if, if that makes sense, but it will be going on. Uh, Phil Jackson had on a Jordan 4 bread. Phil Jackson and Mike was like this. Y'all, you know, we seen from the documentary. Let's get three more likes so we get 600 thumbs up before we go ahead and start on this collection video and i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to go through um the messages while i'm doing it i see somebody shout out to jay ferguson excited to see soul flat ones uh what's good with 11s on christmas not sure about the 11s on christmas just yet you know they only really got mock-ups we got over 1200 people in here smash that like button these joints will be dropping next well 
Not this Saturday, but May 9th. And a good thing about this stuff is, bro, it's like things are somewhat starting to get back to normal as far as releases. We getting our releases back. Stuff ain't being pushed back. You know what I'm saying? Fives are dropping on the second. These are dropping on the ninth. Flints are dropping on the 30th. So it's making stuff somewhat seem, you know, back to normal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, I need that haircut bad. I'm trying not to even put the camera in my face. But look, my family's safety is over everything. I'm not going to nobody barbershop. Ain't nobody coming to my crib. I'm not going to nobody else crib. You feel me? Until I feel safe because I got a four-year-old daughter. And I, you know, if I get it, God willing, I can go through it, but I refuse to let anything come close to touching my daughter. That's that's real talk. So I'm going to look like Hillbilly Jim for a long time <laughs> until I feel comfortable because her safety, bro, is, is over anything. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm going to do the Jordan 1s. Is this light bothering y'all? Should I turn off the light or should I keep the light on? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. What should I do? Smash that like button. I know that's what y'all... <laughs> smash that like button. That's what y'all need to do. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Go ahead and smash the like button. Okay, y'all want me to turn the light off. Smash the like button for your... Ones and twos for uh, this episode. Excuse me, for this live. I might do threes and fours for the next. I'm just going to finish up after the finale. So, how are we going to rock? Okay? How are we going to rock? So... Let's start up top. Start up here. So, all the way at the top, shout out to Afonso G for the $5 donation. We need Chicago Ones to drop again. They playing with the Shy Ones, bro. They playing heavy with the Shy Ones. I think I missed another donation, man. Shout out to Samuel Zay. Uh, what up, Mob? Go Mob to you, bro. You know the Roy Ones are must cop for the bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. They are. So, Right here, I got my pair of Air Jordan 1 bands uh, or bread, whatever you guys like to call them. These are the joints from 2016. And for the most part, you know you got a legit pair if you got all that gold dust glitter on your shoes right here. Size 11 and a half. Now, one big mistake I will say before I, you know, go through my Jordan 1s and so y'all can see me. Um... I sold all of my OG, <laughs> I sold all my OG doubles like last year. And soon as I sold them, literally all of them skyrocketed. All of them skyrocketed soon as I sold them. Smash that like button if you just walked up into this joint. Shout out to Christopher Smith for the $3 donation. Shout out to Juan uh, for the $2 donation, you never show your new Jordan uh, PEJs. I'm doing that video tomorrow, bro. That video will be going up tomorrow. Smash that like button if you just entered into the vault. Again, my goal is to get a 1,000 likes before we get up out of here. All right? Bread Ones, starting it off 2016. Now, <clears throat> I was one at one point in time trying to collect all of them, bro. Like, I had the breads from... Uh, 2013, but as soon as I got the 2016 pair, I sold it. I wore these to one of my first events that um had my logo on it. So it was like not a sponsored event, but I was like a special guest. And this was one of the first uh first events that had my logo on it. And I just wanted to have some heat, so I did rock them. You can't really tell. I keep my shoes clean. Let me put my face to the camera again. Pause. For all you people, break don't wear his shoes. Break wears his shoes when breaking wants to wear his shoes. They may not look worn because they are clean. Like, it was cool a year and a half ago. Break don't wear his shoes, blah, blah, blah. But I'm deleting and blocking people for saying it now. Like, anybody with that nonsense, I just ain't got time for it no more because it ain't even funny no more. Okay. Second, I got these. We got the Jordan 1 Game Royals. And, um... This shoe right here was like a 200, this shoe right here was like a $220, $210 shoe after these joints had released, and now they up there in price. These joints have definitely, have definitely jumped up in price. Another one of them just dope shoes to have, which makes me want to go to the next shoe, 
the Chicago's because in a sense, it's just a blue Chicago one. It's like a blue Chicago one. So these joints definitely went up. And the reason why I think they went up is because of the color blocking. Anytime a Jordan one has like an OG like color blocking, it always does well. And my big behind just stepped on my box for tomorrow <laughs> and damn near just smashed it. <laughs> so let me move that out the way. Shout out to my boy Richard Plant. For the uh, $2 donation, my son, Quentin, watching for the first time. Shout out to baby Quentin. Uh, boy Jerome, shout out for you for the $2 donation. Where you get your boxes, I need to get some. Container store. Go to the containerstore.com after this. I am sponsored by the container store. They do have a 25% off containers right now. Take advantage of it. I'm out of breath. Woo! Um, take advantage of it. Um, it is a good sale. Shout out to King Mo um, for the four dollar donation. I'ma cop you those neck ball Willie specials. I'm good, bro. I'm good on the neck ball Willie specials uh, because I got the 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 legit joints right here. Okay, so I'm straight on them. Um, shout out to uh, Patrick for the five dollar donation. Uh, praying for cool gray elevens. Next up, I have. Oh my God, another worn pair of shoes. I got the, <laughs> the Air Jordan one. These are the complex con joints. I did have, um, what were they called? The, um, bro, what was these called? Not, not, not the complex con, but it was the other ones that look very much like this. Um, shit, I can't even, can't even think of it off the top of my head, bro. Um, not the, these are the top three. Go Toes. I did have the gold toes, but I wind up selling them because I'm just, and the gold toes was DS. And I sold them for like the low ski too. I'm just like, why do I need the gold toes when I got these? Right? You don't need both of them. So I sold the gold toes last year as well. The top three joints are a lot better. A lot better. Hit that like button if you just now entered. We want to get to a thousand thumbs up before we leave this video. Okay? So smash that like button if you just came up in here. <clears throat> One of my favorites. The Chicago Homage to Homes. Bread on one side. Chicago on the other side. Oh my God, Break, you wear your shoes, bro. I can't believe you, man. I wore these to my first sneaker con. Sneaker con Cleveland was the first sneaker con I got flown out to. And um, this is the Chicago pair. So this is before they did the um, the retail pair. So, of course, we know on the back of the shoes, it says from and for. From Chicago, for Chicago. Yes, this is the number joint. Now, also, for this is number, let me see. Smash that like button. This is number 2032 out of 2300. Now, I did forget, y'all, and I'm just going to put these in order tomorrow. I did wind up looking for it. I did wind up. I know I got a double of this shoe. I know I do. I just got to find it right here. So this is my dead stock pair, and this is number 361 out of 2300. Now, one, one thing I peeped about this was that, like, number one through 500 plush, nice leather. You know what I'm saying? Nice, soft leather. And then from, like, 501 to, like, 2000 was just, like, mediocre leather. You know what I'm saying? And then from that 2001 all the way up to 2300, clean, nice, nice leather on those, bro. So, had to double up on these for the city. Okay. Um, what else we got up here? Smash that like button, y'all. OG core purples. OG core purples. I do like the OG ones better than the 2020 pair. Granted, the 2020 pair. Hiya. Granted, the 2020 pair has that Chicago blocking. And I definitely see these going up in the future, okay? 
Reason being is because these are still going up. These are still going up regardless, bro. These are going up crazy. These ain't really did, you know what I'm saying, no crazy numbers just yet, but I can guarantee you that they will. 2.0s pop. I love the white in the 2.0s. And again, it got that Chicago blocking. So anything with that Chicago blocking is going to do something. Mike Ravel, yes, bro. We got a court purple situation on hands, bro. We got 1,300 people rocking with us, bro. 1,300. Smash that like button. We got 853. 853. Smash that like button if you just now entering. All right? Next. Alayli Mays. Y'all remember these? Now, a little bit about the Alayli Mays, y'all. I like them. I don't love them. Reason why I don't love them is because, and we can go to. Uh, yeah, I wish I had somebody recording this. It'll be a lot more easier. Shout out to DJ T Mark for the three dollar donation. Um, he said you need to put the racial blue ones in the vault. I'm cool on those, bro. <laughs> um, UBK fam, bro. We just taking a, we just taking a break, man. We gonna we gonna pick it back up, but um. You know, we got our daughter here 24-7. So it's it, it really it's really hard to film with both of us without watching her, bro. So I'm just gonna keep it real. Plus, it ain't nowhere, plus it, there's nowhere to go. Okay. Um uh do 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 do. Um I forgot where I was at. Um, yes, reason why I don't love those is because how they did the men's settings. The OG Royals, beautiful. Numbered. So I got 489 out of 701 for the OG Royals. And for the for the Brits, satin Brits, right here. 162 out of 501. So they did the Royals and they did the um they did the Royals and the Brits gave them respect. Set, uh, shadows should have got the same treatment. No corduroy. These joints should have been numbered. You know what I'm saying? These should have got the same treatment like these did. And that's the only reason why I don't rock with these ass heavy. Now, I do have, of course, the satin shattered backboards. These are women's exclusive. Not 100% sure if I'm going to keep these. But, you know, eventually down the line, I may move them simply because it is a women's shoe and it don't really hold that satin vibe along with the satin um, black toes. I should have sold these when these went up to 1200 because this is a size 10 and I definitely should have went ahead and got that bread on those. OK, <clears throat> which one's next? Next up. Hit that like button. We got 923. We're trying to get that thousand before we head up out of here. These suckers, UNC um, Obsidian joints, Obsidian Blue, UNCs, whatever you want to call them. I made a video back in August when these joints dropped, and I said that, hold on to all pairs. Keep all your pairs. Now, me, I touch pretty much every shoe. So if I'm holding on to multiples of every shoe that I believe is going to hold value, my closet will be way more full than... The shoe, whoops, I just showed one of my P's. <laughs> I just showed one of the new P's. I don't know if y'all caught it. But um, it would be um, it would be fuller than it is out here. This shoe right here is going up like never before. Never before. This shoe. A bunch of unworn. How can you wear every last shoe? Like, I'm really, like, it ain't even me getting mad. It's just the point that some of y'all make no sense. So it's like when when a shoe's supposed to come out, do you supposed to just throw it on your foot and just take Instagram pictures, or do you supposed to wear the shoe when you want it? You know what I'm saying? Like I got over 400 shoes in here, and you expect everyone to be on foot? Y'all tripping? Like just stop it, just stop it for real. Cause nine out of ten, you probably got like 20 shoes in your collection, and it ain't even me trying to be mean. But if you got 20 shoes and they all DS, then that's something different. But if you got 400 shoes, how can you expect to wear all 400 shoes when it's a shoe that come out every week? It just don't make no sense, bro. 
Like, y'all just got to, you can't wear everything. And we on quarantine right now, too. So I wear my shoes when I go to sneaker events, when I do, like, family events. But I'm not going to wear my shoes to Walmart just to walk in Walmart and say, I got a $5,000 pair of shoes on. Like, y'all tripping. You got 10 shoes, then cool. But if you don't, just keep it moving. If you got my collection and all of them worn, shout out to you. Keep it moving, okay? These. Um, hold on. Shout out to Frank Ballard. I got a lot of kicks that I have not worn. <laughs> exactly, bro. Like, y'all tripping. Like, y'all expect me to wear every last shoe in here. Bro, I don't get it. Back to it. I I I have to rant sometimes because I just I, I just keep it in and I ignore it. But y'all sometimes just don't make no sense whatsoever. None whatsoever, bro. Okay, so back to these. If you held on to these, you are doing phenomenal because you're gonna make a lot of bread off these. Okay. Now, because I'm making a mess, bro. Next up, turbo grains. Jordan won Turbo Greens. I want to sell these. And the reason why I want to sell these is because, like, I like them, and this is unique. But this shoe is so unique that I feel like we may not see this again. Like, the Spring 19 lineup on the Jordan 1s was so unique from these and um, which ones was it? The, uh, uh. It was another one. It, it was it was like black and it kind of had not the um bro. What was the other one that looked it kind of like this one, man? What was the other one that kind of looked like this? But it was like black. It was uh the, the names was like interchangeable, man. I cannot yes, crimson tints, neutral gray. There we go. You had the neutral grays that were close to this with that spring 19 right here. Those I probably, excuse me, should have held on to. But the Turbo Greens, it's just different. It pops. You know what I'm saying? They got like the off-white style tongue. The colorway was unique. The actual material on the shoe was unique as well. You know what I'm saying? These joints, these joints are decent, but I don't see myself just be like, man, I'm going to wear the Turbo Greens over a pair of Chicago's. You know, like if time coming, I have to really move a pair, I definitely will, bro. I definitely will. Y'all smash that like button. We need 46 more thumbs up to get to that thousand thumbs up. Shout out to my boy Astro Labs. They actually gifted me these. These are the Jordan 1, um, the Jordan 1 Gem Reds. These were a China exclusive. And this is a 10 and a half. I actually need a size 11 in these. But I told y'all, like, when it comes to like China exclusive shoes. That size 11 and up is extremely, extremely hard to get. So if I can find it, I will be doing a trade. These are still dead stock. But again, this was a China exclusive right here. Hit that like button. We need five more. Five more to get to that thousand. Nigel Sylvester's. Nigel Sylvester's are decent. I remember I paid 310 on release day for the Nigel Sylvester's. Another just unique shoe just to have in a collection. Again, this is not one of those joints. Shout out to y'all. We did hit that thousand thumbs ups. Keep hitting that thumb up if you did just enter. These are one to just actually throw on foot. You know what I'm saying? This is just one for like the collection. It was a collab shoe. It was a dope shoe to just actually be able to pick up. And the prices on these joints definitely have went up as well. Next up, uh, one of my favorite collabs that I got in a vault is the, excuse me, y'all. I know I'm probably giving y'all some headaches. Um, the Unions, Union Jordan 1s. Unions are so dope, man. I honestly cannot wait to see what Jordan brand actually does with the uh, Union Jordan 4s that are supposed to be coming out this year. I hope things didn't get pushed back from that. I hope we will still be receiving these. Now, these joints are a 10 and a half as well. Most Jordans, I can fit a 10 and a half in, but retro ones, I can't. So, I am looking to get a size 11 in these. So, you know, if, if somebody trustworthy has a size 11, 
These are a size 10 and a half. Now, in the comments, let me know which one y'all rocking with more, okay? The blue pair or the black? Because off, off the jump, I was always rocking with the blue pair way, way, way more than the black pair. Let me know which ones y'all rocking with more in the comments. I want to see before we move on to the next shoe. <coughs> My boy Space said he'll wear one of each and flex on everybody. I'm rocking with the blue ones, man. The blue ones, you got that uh, Kentucky. You got, like, the breads. These, you just got, like, the neutral gray, the black toes. I'm definitely rocking with these a lot more. I see a lot of people rocking with the, um, the black pair, though. That blue pair is definitely where it's at. Shout out to Scotty TV for the $2 donation. The black unions go harder. I don't know, man. I'm really rocking this blue. You know what I'm saying? This blue is so cold to me, bro. So I definitely got to go with the blue joints. Again, y'all smash that like button for your boy. Um, next up, let's go ahead and do some off-whites. We got the off-white Chicago's. I undies these during um, SneakerCon Chicago. And I was just like, bro, I had on my bull shorts. I had these on. And I was just talking about, man, when you in Chicago, we used to this cold weather. Boy, I was sick as a dog after that, man, a couple days later wearing shorts. And uh, it was like 19-degree weather. But I was able to undies my um, off-white Chicago. So that was dope. Also got the off-white UNCs. Shout out to my boy Jared Foster, Blue Fire, you already know. The Off-White UNCs, another quick story about these joints. <clears throat> For those who may not know, I think I just dropped the laces somewhere on the floor. But for those who do not know, man, these joints actually Shock Dropped on Sneakers app. Shock Dropped on Sneakers app was able to hit two of them. I hit two pairs on Sneakers app, and then um, they wind up dropping at the Jordan store downtown, Wind up hitting three pairs off that. Three pairs off that. So I had a total of five pairs of UNC Off-Whites. I kept one of them, of course. And I think the max, the max that I sold these for was like $650. $650. I want to say these are up to like $1,300 right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I be telling people like sneakers are stock. So if I'd held on to these... Let's say give or take re at the tax. Retail was like $220 at the tax. You know what I'm saying? Now they thousand dollars I could have made five thousand dollars today had I sold all five pairs for uh twelve hundred. You know what I'm saying? So that's and these came out what 2017. So bro, money definitely money is to be made, man. Money is to be made. So you want C's? Um we got the no L's. Red pair, I still rock with the red pair so much more, man. Rock with the red pair so much more. Shout out to my boys that uh, sold proprietors. They actually gave me this pair for retail. Retail, they gave those to me, man. So shout out to them. All right, hit that like button if you just entered. Um, yellow pair. Yellow pair is cool. Got a story about these. Got finesse on two pairs. Who remembers my story about these right here? About the um about the no L's. Who remember my story about these? Cause this was a crazy story, bro. Crazy story. I got some Chicago Bull shorts, bro. Who remember the story about these, man? So for those who are new, and for those who just walked up in here, make sure y'all smack that like button first and foremost. Um so, these dropped in L.A. first. For those who remember, these joints dropped in L.A. first. So, um, it was a guy on Facebook who, um, who, you know, legit, a lot of people have done business with this guy. And I hit two pairs. I hit on my account and my wife's account on Foot Action. Y'all hit that like button if you just entered. And Buddy was like, man, bro, I'm going to Cali to pick up pairs. You know what I'm saying? Just throw me $200 for picking them up and throw me retail for the shoe. 
So he was making $200 a pop, $400. So I knew I hit, you know what I'm saying? I had the reserves and everything. And I'm texting him. I'm calling him all day like, bro, what's good? He like, man, bro, I might not be able to pick up your shoes, blah, blah, blah. They, they tripping over here at foot action. I'm like, okay, cool. So a day goes by. He like, nah, bro, I wasn't able to get them. And he like, I'm just seeing your money back in the morning. So I'm like, cool. Now, before I hit him back up that, fi that second day, um, I checked my reserves. Now, you know, on the reserve apps on Foot Action, it tells you if your shoes was picked up. So he had picked up on my account, but it didn't say picked up on my wife's account. So I'm calling, bro. I'm like, bro, it said that you picked up the shoes, but you telling me that you didn't pick them up. Nah, bro, I didn't pick them up, man. I don't know what's happening. I'm like, bro, if my account says reserved, picked up, you picked up that shoe. So he wound up giving me one out of the two pairs. He refunded me my money back as far as the pairs that was that I gave him to pick up. But to, still to this day, I feel like Buddy got away with one of my reserves. And, I mean, I'm glad that I do have one pair for retail. I'm not complaining. I'm not crying about that. It's just a simple fact that Buddy tried to finesse me for both of these because at that time, these was going for like seven or 800 You know, they weren't nowhere near the price that they are now. These are like $1,200, I want to say. And um, he was just going to keep both pairs. He was going to pay with it out of his pocket, but he was going to flip them. So it's just, it's crazy, man. When it comes to the sneaker stuff, it's so hard to trust people. If you do got legit people in your circle, just deal with them, et cetera, man. Especially if you knew. I know that's a whole tangent, but buddy legit tried to finesse me, man. Um, Shout out to everybody. We got 1,100 thumbs up. Keep smashing that thumbs up if you just entered. Um, Looking at some new joints. We got the Jordan 1 um, Reverse Breads. I still have my other two pairs in the closet over there. This is a shoe that I'm holding on to. This is a shoe that I feel like will definitely go up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely go up within a time. Um, it don't have that shattered backboard leather. It ain't got that, you know, that booty, whatever, whatever y'all like with, with y'all Air Jordan 1s. It, it ain't got that that 2016, 2017 leather. It just got that old school, straight, smooth leather, okay? That's that's just it. That's just it. They, they These went down stupid in price. Stupid. That's why I say, if you want a pair, it's best time to grab them now. Grab them now if you're trying to invest. Still grab them now. But if you want a pair to rock, please grab them now because by December, Mark my words. I'm sweating right now, but still, hold on. Mark my words. These joints will be up there in price, okay? Next up, we got the um, New Beginning Pack. Pretty cool. Pretty much the same thing you got with the um, Reverse Breads. If you got a pair of Reverse Breads, the New Beginning Pack feels just like them. Airships. Now... I want to know this. Will we get the bread colorway in the airships? Because I seen on Twitter or something like that, there's a pair out that Jordan autographed of these uh, airship with, but it was the bread colorway. Will we get those this year? And if it's not this year, will we get them in the future? And then another question is, will we get it in a pack? You know what I'm saying? Will they drop them by itself? Or will we get the airships with the breads? You know what I'm saying? That would be dope. That would be dope because next year will be five years since we got the breads. And to my knowledge, it's like every three to five years, Jordan Brand gives us another OG colorway in a retro one. You want to see to Chicago's Women Exclusive? I can't really read this shoe, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, fire shoe. Fire shoe. Why is price so low on these? I'm not 100% sure. You know what I'm saying? This is a nice shoe. This is a size 11 in women's. I was able to get my actual size that I really wanted. Fire shoe right there. Next up, Kentucky Blue Jordan 1s. Another story that we can go about, man. This shoe right here was on... Actually, I'm going to do one of these. These two together... We can go sit down. I'm just have to clean all this up in the morning. These two shoes right here. 
If y'all remember, I still was living with my parents. So these had to come out around 2015, 2016. <clears throat> Both of these shoes was on Nike clearance. Clearance! These joints was on sale, y'all. Sale. Okay, not sale as in this colorway. Wait, that, that's vanilla. Sale, not that sale. Not sale over here. Sale as in, I want to say these was on Nike.com for like 120 109 some of that nature bro these did sit these hit outlets you know why i know these hit outlets because i picked this pair up from the outlet bro shout out to um scotty again he say block all star 23 he's spamming don't worry bro i'm gonna get him up out of here i'm gonna get whoever else up in here spamming bro i'm gonna, I'm gonna get y'all up out of here as soon as this is over with man okay i'm gonna go ahead and Put them in timeout. All right. Okay. Actually, so, uh, Trill Lok uh, Lock said, I actually caught for 90 bucks. Yes. Yes. The Metallics was at the outlet for like $90. These, now, I don't know what these are going for right now. Where's my other phone? We can check. What are going for right now? Because I haven't checked in a minute, man. Shout out to Hemi Kicks. When do you think we will see the cool gray 11s? It would have been dope for this year since it's the 10-year anniversary of the cool grays from 2010. But honestly, not sure, bro. That's a, that's a phenomenal question. That is a shoe like I feel like Jordan Brand could gave us everything we wanted this year. They could have gave they given us the flints. You know what I'm saying? Only thing else we need was like the cherries and the cool grays this year. I feel like every Jordan brand person would have been happy with that. Okay. So Jordan won, what is it, Storm Blue? Because you know they don't use like Kentucky and stuff like that. Be completely different names. Storm Blue ones. Size 11. 352. I know I paid at least 100 bucks for these, man. 100 bucks. Now, for the metallic shout out to everybody in here, we got 1,200 people plus. We need 1,200 thumbs up. Now, the metallic red, let's see what them joints are going for. Jordan one metallic uh, red. Metallic red from 2017 right now is going for 250 I mean, so if you got them at the outlet for 90 bucks and now they're going for 250 Jordan 1s always go up in price, man. Uh, next up, let's look at Brettos. Y'all want to know something about the Brettos? Brettos was like one of my first sneakers that um, not necessarily really got me into reselling, but I learned this shoe right here taught me about the Asian market, okay? This taught me about the Asian market was like, Bro, don't take no pre-orders in eight through nine and a half in Jordan 1s because it's over with. You know what I'm saying? This shoe right here taught me a lot about retro ones. Taught me so much about retro ones right here, man. And I had a decent amount of bread toes. And we got to remember, when bread toes dropped, bread toes was going 210, 220. You know what I'm saying? Bread toes, wasn't, bread toes did not come out the gate busting like that. Pause. They didn't. You know, they, this was just another one of them shoes that built up. It just built up that hype. Next up, we got the Jordan 1 Soul Flies. Miami Hurricane joints. Miami Hurricane joints. They do have a friends and family pair of the Soul Fly ones. You see the stamp right there. And um, those are green and orange, but it's a patent leather colorway. Patent leather. Okay, hit that like button. Shout out to everybody who donated. We $5 away from $100 in donations. Shout out to y'all for donating, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. For real, for real. Um, Travis Lowe's right here. Shout out to my people over there at Soul Steals um, for these right here. Appreciate y'all. We talked about them. One of my second favorite OG colorways. Y'all see the glitter? Shout out to, I copped these on my own. Shout out to myself. Royals, I remember when the Royals dropped. Um, Royals dropped 2017, April Fool's Day, I want to say. want to say, and 
Um, I know spots in Chicago was doing pre-orders on these and reserves like DTLRs, Villas. And I want to say I had 14 pairs, 14 pairs of Royals when they first came out. And Royals was the shoe that showed people the different grades of quality and leather. Like you had like that gray A quality. Shout out to my boy Brian who got us $100 in donations. Um, you think... Those white royal uh, would be a good investment. Yes, that shoe has a color blocking of like the um, uh, not the Chicago's like the fragments. Um, I think that shoe would definitely do well. Shout out to my boy Ash for the two dollars. Appreciate the live UBK. Thank you, bro. Shout out to Dominic for the two dollar donation. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all so much. Again, y'all hit that like button. Okay. Um, I had like fourteen pairs of these. On release day, I should have kept all my OG, my double ups and OGs. Should have kept those. But, of course, I want to say all of my OG ones are worn except uh, my Chicago's. I was going to wear Chicago's for sneaker con, but I wound up doing the off-whites. Travis Scott's threw these joints on feet. Um, I wore these on New Year's. Travis Scott ones are cool. Still to this day, still to this day, I do not, I do not think that this was the shoe of the year. When these came out last year, two years ago, I do not think that these was the shoe of the year. It's, it was a dope shoe, but it's definitely not shoe of the year. Um, somebody asked, why do you have glitter? It was just, I want to say the leather that Nike was using. Some people say it's mold. Some people just say it's leather. But but we shouldn't see that on any other new shoes. Okay, like the um, LA to Chicago's. Love these. Love them, love them, love them. Should have kept all of them. I want to say I had I had this pair. I hit a pair on Sneakers app, and I bought a pair while I was in Florida. I actually went to Florida with flight. Uh, excuse me, flight lives there. But I went to uh, Florida um, on vacation with my wife and took an L. Took an L, but a guy actually sold me his pair for like $250. Because um, these retail at like $175. The pair that I did my YouTube video on, I recently just sold those. Recently just sold those, man. Um, my shoe of the year last year, I don't even remember what shoe I said was shoe of the year last year, but it damn sure one of them Travis Scott ones. <laughs> um, what else, y'all? We can look at the best hand, best what was it? Best hands in the game pack. You have the ochre yellows. I'm gonna get to all questions after this, y'all. Um, ochre yellows. These were a Europe exclusive. These joints did not drop in the States. And remember that um, these had like a special, um, like not necessarily message. Shout out to Mike for the $2 donation. Uh, nice. Your collection fire as hell, bro. Appreciate it. Um, the Oak Yellows represented his MVP champion, uh, excuse me, his MVP awards. That was for the Oak Yellows. Um, what else? Oka Yellows was for MVP. The uh, track red pair was for... Y'all remember the track reds? These was another Europe exclusive. The track reds was for his six championships. So Oka Yellows was, um, was for his MVPs. Track reds was for his uh, six championships. Um, We got the clay greens. And the blue moons as well. Here's the blue moons. Blue moons represented his all-star game appearances. This was for the blue moons. Shout out to JG for the $10 donation. And then, of course, we had... I'm all out of whack, y'all. I don't even know where these joints even going right now. Last but not least, we had the Clay Greens, which represented his Hall of Fame. Clay Greens was for his Hall of Fame. So those were the four. I call what did I what did I call this pack? Who remembers what I called this pack right here? Who remember what I called the best hands in the game pack? Let's see who remember. Who remember what I called the best hands in the game pack?
Oh, okay. So track reds and ochres dropped in Mexico and South America too. I didn't know that. Appreciate that info, bro. Infinity stone pack. Correct. Those are the infinity stone pack. Here is the rookie of the years. And, um, quick story about these. Get a little sit down break. Um, rookie of the years, sold them, bought them, sold them. <laughs> you called it the Willie pack. <laughs> uh, sold them, bought them. Um, I wind up getting these from the outlet maybe like three or four months ago after I sold my pair. And um, these have definitely jumped up, man. These have definitely jumped up in price, man. Rookie of the years. I like, like, they cool, but it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. This this is definitely another one of those shoes that if I wind up coming up on like another PE and I got to move some stuff, rookie of the years, I would definitely move 100%. Shout out to uh, Mike for the $2 donation. What's your favorite sneaker? Uh, love, Viz, and Stream. Um, uh, my favorite sneaker in the vault. It's hard, bro. It's like it's like picking who's your favorite child, man. That, that one's kind of tough, but I got to stick with my gut, bro, and I got a big gut like always, man. My OVO 12s are just special to me, bro. OVO 12s are special. Uh, shout out to the Fred family. Uh, what more can I do? I'm busting, uh, working on content. Um, the inbox me, bro. I'm just trying to talk about YouTube stuff. Uh, shout out to everybody. Let's get this joint to 1.2K likes. We got 1.2K people in here, so y'all definitely can smash that like button so we can hit that goal. Um, next up, another shoe right here, y'all. Another shoe that on release day was going for retail damn near. These, uh, I remember, I remember the release for the Jordan 1 Top 3s. I remember this like it was yesterday. I hit two pairs on the on a foot action app and i wind up waiting at foot action for leftovers and wind up getting one more pair so i had three pairs of these i had three pairs of the top threes and i wind up selling two of them for 220 dollars on release day 220 i'm not even sure what top threes go for right now what where's the top threes at in, in price range i know it's up there man it's like certain shoes I don't even check no more, man, because it's just like when I go to sneaker events, I know they taxing. So it's just like if the people is taxing, I know the price is up there. Jordan one top. Oh, my God. Bro. <laughs> Wait, is OK? Let's say all sizes. That's not a size. Wait, hell, bro. Five fifty, bro. Top threes ain't never five fifty right now, man. That's crazy. Size seven is almost a stack. Bruh, I can't believe this one, man. I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. <laughs> I can't. And like I said, I had three pairs, and on release day, I sold two of them for $220. I sold one pair to one of my homie's brothers for $220, man. 220 because we got to remember bro once the top threes came out when the top threes came out like people was clowning these oh these are clown shoes these you know what i'm saying these ain't nothing you know what i'm saying these shoes are terrible look at the leather blah 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 you know what i'm saying joints is 560 and, and that goes back to what i always say when people say the shoe is ugly, it always does numbers afterwards. Always. The uglier the shoe, the the higher and the, and, and the more it is for resale later on down the line. Uh, SBB 3.0s, another shoe that I invest, excuse me, another shoe that I suggest people invest in. These 3.0s, because it's going to go up. They already slowly starting to go up. Slowly but surely, they already starting to go up. Okay? Slowly but surely starting to go up. And um, it's an ugly shoe. But once you got 3.0 and you got 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.
2.0 got a little bit of that glitter on it too. And 2.0s, I sold my 2.0s for 210. 210. I had two pairs. My personal pair and this. But this was back when I was just moving shoes just to add on to what I got. So if these was 172 at the tax, and you know what I'm saying? I sold a pair for 210. And I put that $50 that I just made for reselling tours. These I only paid 110 for my pair. But now Winnie's came out 2016. But now four years down the line, this is a $700 shoe right now. You know what I'm saying? $700 shoe right now. Yes. Yes, bro. I was throwing steals back then, man. And, and, it, it, and, and, and at that time, it wasn't a steal. That was what market was. You know what I'm saying? Market at that time was 210 for those. What else we got, y'all? Oh, shit. Oh, man. I got to sit down for this one. I got to sit down for this one. Woo! The shoe that low-key helped make your boy who he is today with this sneaker stuff. We got a Jordan 1 Pine Green. And you know the crazy thing about the Pine Greens, bro? Is it that nobody ever really looked at the fact that I got finessed on the trade? You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever looked at the fact that, hey, somebody traded Unbreakable Kicks a fake shoe. Nobody ever looked at that, bro. Nobody looked at that. Nobody thought that, damn, you know, break had a slip up. But that dude finessed break too. They only looked at the fact that, Break was the one who moved this shoe. They didn't think that damn Break, Break got finesse too. Break lost his money and he wound up losing his shoe. But that's neither here nor there. Pine Green 1.0. Dope shoe. Dope shoe, y'all. I love these a lot better than the 2.0s, in which I don't even have the 2.0s in my collection at all. Don't even have the 2.0s in my collection at all. Um, and this happened, what, 2018, y'all? 20 freaking 18 is <laughs> 2020. Uh, but anyways, man, fire shoe. Love this shoe, regardless of the situation, regardless of what happened. You know what I'm saying? Your boy is still rocking and rolling to this day. Um, and this shoe right here, it made my, this shoe right here made my circle go a lot smaller I trust less people. I don't get myself involved with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was just when when I had when before this happened, bro. I will always be on everybody's channel. I'll be hee hee and ha ha trying to help people. And then I seen how people turned their back on me. And this is not even uh uh this ain't even really bringing up the the past. But this shoe right here just showed me a lot. You know what I'm saying? This shoe just showed me a lot. And we ain't even got to go full in detail because it's over and done with. No, this ain't no shot at nobody. No, this ain't, you know what I'm saying? Bringing up no crazy stuff. You know, it just is what it is. Um, uh, next shoe. Uh, next shoe, we have the... Air Jordan 1 DB. DB1s. To me, this is not the dopest DB. You know what I'm saying? This is not the DB at the dopest DB at all, bro. It's just um just a DB1. Once you got all the DBs in your collection, you gotta at least have some. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have them all. But the DB1 is one of the first, if not, I believe the DB2 was the first uh, DBs, but the DB1s is definitely up there. Shout out to Travis for the five dollar donation. Thank you for all the content, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Um, also, we have the Jordan 1 K54s. Jordan 1 K54s. These joints are cool. I actually like the friends and family pair better, the half and half joint. But, you know, this, again, is another one of them shoes. Like, man, look, if, if I come up on, like, a PE or something that I really, really want, I definitely will move this shoe right here. Definitely will move this shoe right here. 
down here we got the Air Jordan 1. Uh, what was these really don't even have a name, bro? Just the black OG Jordan 1s. I undsc for Complex Con last year, and um, these actually hurt my feet surprisingly because, like, I can wear like a 2016 bread 2017 Royal and be good, but. This because this has like that 2013, 2014 leather on it. These joints was real stiff when I was wearing them, bro. Uh, next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard. Um, my boy Flight in the chat. Uh, Flight had to text me because normally, uh, uh, normally Flight always be like, man, I was in the chat. You just ain't say nothing. But shout out to my boy Flight. I'm trying to see. Okay, yep, I see you. Shout out to my uh, my uh, big bro Flight in the building. Um, we got 1,200 thumbs up, y'all. Keep smashing that thumbs up. I actually undes these for um, Thanksgiving. See, you got that glitter effect on these joints. Here's another sneaker right here that actually went to outlets, y'all. These Jordan One um, Navy Metallics. These hit outlets too. These joints hit outlets too and was crazy because I, I don't know the price on these yet, but I can guarantee you that price on them have gone up. Price on these joints definitely have gone up. Outlet, these is on sale on Nike, etc. But, you know, it's that OG Air Jordan 1 colorway. One of my favorites in the collection. One of my favorites, you got the Jordan 1 Bands. Reason why I really, really liked it, this shoe right here, man, is because I seen, um, uh, which one was it? I think Jay-Z. Jay-Z had these on in the Otis video, and Kanye had on the infrared sixes in the Otis video. And, excuse me, seeing them, I'm like, bro, these joints are fire because it was way different from the 2001 Air Jordan 1 breads or the 2000, yeah, 2001 Air Jordan 1 breads, way different. And seeing them uh, had these joints in that oldest video, your boy fell in love with these, man. And I had like three or four pairs of these joints. Three or four pairs of these joints, man. Sold them, bought them back. Sold them, bought them back. I'm like, I, I can't get rid of them no more at this point. Next up, we got the Fearless Joint. Shout out to Tops uh, for the $2 donation over... 1.1K in here, hit that like button. Yes, sir. If you just now get in here, smash that like button. Shout out to my boy, uh, big homie Dre. Uh, what's good, Beerless? You want to see to Chicago's? Another one of those Jordans. I'm just surprised at the point that these joints ain't as high up as they should be in uh, resale value. I'm still surprised to this point, man. But, but... I don't know, because if y'all remember, I had like 14 pairs of them joints sitting over here, and I moved them all because they just wasn't moving at the at the rate that I wanted them to move up at, okay? What else we got, y'all? We almost at the nitty-gritty. Um, We got the Blue Chills, Jordan 1 Blue Chills, the women's exclusive joints. This is a size 10 and a half in women. If you ever had on a 10 and a half in women, if you notice that sometimes these joints feel a little bit bigger, like this actually fits like a size 11 in men to me. Actually feels like a size 11 in men. And um, these are dope. Shout out to my boy Keep Pushing Kicks because my boy Keep Pushing Kicks, is the, he actually sold me um, his size 12 that he got for retail. Um, another joint that I have a double up in is the Jordan 1 Spider-Mans. Jordan 1 Spider-Mans. I love these joints. Love them, love them, love them. Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, so I gotta have a double up in these joints. Hands, hands down, gotta have a double up in these joints right here. Uh, we got... The Young Fragments, Jordan 1 Fragments. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people, let's see if I can hold these up right here. See if that'll work. A lot of people trying to call these like the Poor Man Fragment, but they, honestly, they close, but they ain't that close. If you catch my drift. They close, but they not that close, man. Not, you know what I'm saying? Not really. Not really. These are cool, but these Fragments... 
Fragments is on a whole nother level, bro. Whole nother level, bro, compared to these joints. These will do. Don't get me wrong. These will do. But these joints is on a whole nother level. How's the leather? The leather on these is just like the leather on the core purples. Leather on the uh, Royal Toes is just like the leather on the core purple uh, 2.0s. I got Jordan 1 Shadows. We got the Shadow Ones. Busted these out once. Shadow Ones. I remember these. This was another big, um, big shoe that I did uh, pre orders on. And I think I probably touched at least 25 pairs of Shadows. And I should at least kept a double. I did have two, but last year I was selling a lot of them, man. Selling a lot of them. Flight, they saying something about get some corn balls out of here, bro. If we got to remove some people, bro, go ahead and remove them. Last but not least, I want to just make sure that this is the last shoe. I want to make sure that this is the last shoe. I think we touched every Jordan 1. Yep. Last but not least, the OG UNCs. Do y'all remember that the OG UNCs set? These set, bro. These set. 2016 when these dropped. These set. These set, man. And now I know prices are definitely, prices are definitely up there. They are definitely up up there man crazy 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 these set when once the jordan store first opened up after a couple days later they still had pairs of these sitting and i didn't know why you know what i'm saying okay these came out 05 i'm excuse me 2015 was it 2015 yep 2015 excuse me yes these joints set in chicago they set man uh, they didn't hit outlets anything like that but these did not have no instant sellout, bro. Did not have an instant sellout. I guess we can do retro too since I don't have that many. Um, we got the Don C's. Uh, my boy Regal said the homage to Homes. Bro, I doubled up on the homage to Homes. I wore, wore a pair and I still got a dead stock pair. Wore a pair, still got a dead stock. I do got the um, S and Chan, the Clot Ones in there, the mids. I got those up in there as well. Um, but I'm trying to sell those. So um, we got the Don C Jordan ones right there. We got the Don C uh, Jordan one. Excuse me, Jordan twos. We have the the what was these called? The um, Jordan two like all star joints. These came in that Converse pack. The Converse uh, Jordan 2s. It was like his PEs or something like that. Got these. And I believe out of all the 2s, this Don C is probably like the only one that I actually wore. The Don C's. And them joints are pretty comfortable too. Um, Gotta have the Mellows. Jordan 2 Mellows. These dropped the same day the Travis Scott uh, 4s dropped. We got the Mellow joints. It took me a long time to appreciate Retro 2s. Retro 2s, 8s, and 1s were like my last to actually like. We got the DB 2s. The Nightshades. I had the Nightshades, but I sold them. If you remember, them Nightshades came out. You had the Nightshades. You had the Concord 2s. And then it was like a, a one more pair of 2s that came out that same year. Came out that same year, man. Um, what's these down here? K54s. You got the Jordan 2K. Bro, I paid, what I pay for these? Like a hundred bucks? Pay like a hundred dollars for these, man. Clean. He said they were warm, but iron purple twos. Yup. I remember all those, man. Uh, shout out to uh Young Beers are both pairs of your homages numbered. Yep, only kept the number pairs. I sold the, the regular pairs. K54s. What else I got? <clears throat> as far as twos, I got the other pair of the Don C's. I'm just missing the Arctic Orange joints. 
The Arctic oranges are the, um, I wouldn't call it a friends and family. And I had the opportunity to get the Arctic oranges. Hey fam, Measley G had a pair. Size 11. Um, I think he wanted like six fifty for him at the time. I wound up passing. And I should have never passed on him because that's the only one I need. That's the only one I need. Of course, you know, I got the Ben 2s. Dope, one of the dopest bins. One of the dopest bins. Then I got the Chicago 2s or the red and whites. I don't know. Which one do y'all call Chicago? Do y'all call these the Chicago's or do you call these the Chicago's? The first pair, are these the Chicago's or is the second pair the Chicago's? Which ones? Because most, okay, so y'all call these and these just call what, like the OG 2s? Because I know people use these names intertwined, you know? People use their name intertwined. Shout out to um, Andrew. Think the Chicago ones will come back out soon. I don't know, bro. I feel like they playing with that shoe, man. You know, we got the Spider-Mans that's close. Um, they saying these are like the reverse Chicago's. I don't, then they coming out with like the women's snakeskin joints. You know what I'm saying? So I honestly don't see it. I don't, I don't see it no time soon to be a hundred. I, I really don't. I really don't. Um, and, uh, that's it, y'all. That's it. That's all the retro ones. I don't know when y'all want me to, but I know retro threes is going to be a lot. Retro threes is a lot. Retro fours is a lot. So, um, next time, I'm not sure when, maybe, maybe after episode five and six, after episode five and six, we can do three and four. I got a lot of retro ones on the floor, man. So we can use this time right now to answer any questions. Any questions? Anybody? Um, any questions? Boy, look, your boy is sweating over here, bro. For real, for real. Uh, what questions y'all got for me before we head up out of here? Shout out to everybody who is still in here. We still got over a thousand people. We got 1.2K thumbs up. So still smash that thumbs up if you're just now entering. Um, what you think about the OG fives this year? Uh, OG great fives. I think they're doing an alternate fives. Them turbo green ones, they cool. Do the elevens. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to all of them, but we ain't got no time to knock out all of it, bro. Uh, pull out the OG. Pull the two. I already did the twos. Um, how your Lance Mount uh, Lance Mountain ones look? Boy, I've been sold them joints. Um. Fire Red Force confirmed, yes. Uh, what would you pay for on resale for LA to Chicago's? Market, bro. Unless you can work out a good deal, I will only really focus on markets. Um, shout out to the R Unbreaker um, Goat. I, I rocks with that name, man. Um, Maurice, was there a shock drop? No. How you feel about the reverse flu games? I need to see official images. Um, what is a sneakerhead? Anybody who actually loves sneakers, whether it's Jordans, Nike, Adidas, whatever, you know, just have some kind of love for it. Um, is StockX safe to cop, depending on what you're trying to buy? Um, break, shout me out, big fan. Shout out to uh, Shada Dims. That look like that's your name. Um, shout out to old, um, old at underscore fit or cool grade threes too old to wear. It all depends, bro. Like, I got a pair of cool gray threes, and they still seem to be pretty firm. Still seem to be pretty firm, man. Um, what else y'all got, bro? We've been on here for 73 minutes. I ain't going to lie. Your boy hot. I'm tired. I done showed y'all all the Jordan 1s. I done showed y'all uh, all the Jordan 2s I have. We're going to do 3s. We may do 3, 4, and 5 next, uh, next Sunday just to kind of catch up. Um, 6, 7, and 8. And then we do 9, 10, 11, then 12, 13, 14. So that's how we're going to hit it, bro. I'm break with Army. Again, shout out Hotling Nines. I'm break with Army. Love y'all, bro. If y'all have any questions that I didn't answer, I might go to my DM on Instagram in a little bit to answer some of these questions. And um, we're going to keep it busting, man. And other than that, y'all, I'm break with Army. Love y'all. Stay strong. Hug your loved ones. I'll get up with y'all later.